video to my two point perspective uh, tutorial uh, that I just made because there's an even easier way to do it and I wanted to show you guys real quick. So Anime Studio actually does have perspective tools. So if you use the XY rotation here, I'm going to set the Y rotation on my blank layer to negative 45. And I'm going to call this the left side. And then I'm going to create a new layer and I'm going to call this the right side. And I'll set the Y rotation to 45 degrees. So basically this tilts the or turns the um, layers at a 45 degree angle. So if I choose the left side and I start drawing a square, um, you can see that it's in perspective. So if, the, if I want to draw a bunch of buildings for a street, let's say, I can just draw a square here. I can line my cross hair or my cursor up to the bottom of the, of the uh, building, draw another square, and just continue to do that. So I have perspective already. And then to make the back side, since I've changed the XY rotation to the opposite, if I click on the right side and just touch the top of this building and draw over here and draw a square out, I'll hit Q and select the uh, color and change the uh, side of the wall right there and hit OK and then I'll draw another square here and just make sure it goes down to the bottom of this and I'll do another one here I hit Q. I'm going to hold shift down and select these two walls. I'm going to put them in the very back. So I'm going to hold shift option and hit the down arrow. Oops. Got to do it with all of them. Let me see here. Uh -oh. Let me go select both of these. Or actually. Oh, it's going to, it's because the layers. <laughs> the right side needs to be underneath. That's why. So you can see, you can make um, two-point perspective scenes really, really easy. And check this out. Um, so say I want to make some windows for the side of this building. I can just draw a square, and it's going to um, put it in perspective. And if I do a copy and paste and move it downward, it's going to adjust to that perspective. So I can keep doing that. So if I hold hit T and hold shift down and select both copy and paste move them down you can see that it's starting to change perspective as it goes downward so I can hold hit T hold shift and select them all copy paste move that row over hold shift down after I hit T and then copy and paste those and those windows are all in perspective and if I grab all of them, oops, grab them all like that, copy, and then go to the left side and paste and move them. I can uh, use the transform tool and they're already in perspective on this side. And then I can resize them and recolor them however I need uh, and just draw a door hitting the uh, add shape tool I can just come over here and draw a door and move it around to where I need it to be um, copy and paste and move this stuff over I can make signs and everything's in proportion I can make a street um, actually I need to make figure out how to do the third the ground level but you know you can make a curve like this for the sidewalks and do the right side add a curve over here curb not curve and I can use the uh, let's, if I draw just a stroke and I hold shift down, it's going to draw it um, in, in the correct uh, perspective. So let me make that a line. I'm just going to connect it right here. And if I select that line and copy and paste it and 
move it over. You can see it'll make the uh, sidewalk lines. But anyway, I just wanted to make a really quick video so I could show you guys because um, I thought that was pretty neat that uh, you could do this in Anime Studio really easy. And that's it. <laughs> but yeah, this is just kind of a add-on to the perspective video. So um, if you have any questions or comments, just leave them down below.